light that surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Hey guys, Unif Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be making a Christmas tree with yarns. So I'm going to be starting off with balloons. I used two packs of balloons, that's 40 in total. And then I made some small and made some larger. This is the yarn that I will be using and I chose white because I want the Christmas tree to be white. I'll be using Mod Podge for this project, but you can also use school glue. I am going to completely soak the yarn in the mixture of glue and water. The next thing I'll do is wrap the yarn around the balloons. And I'm doing this tightly. Not too tight, but just tight enough to make it stay in place. In doing this, there is no particular order of wrapping your yarn around the balloon. All you need to remember is that the yarn should cover a reasonable amount of the balloon to make sure that when it's dry, you have a bowl-like shape. I bought a whole pack of party cups so that I can use it to place my yarn that has been wrapped on the balloon on it for the glue to drip inside. The yarn that I used did not cover all the balloons that I had inflated. So these are just all that I was able to do. And I let it dry for 24 hours. And it dried completely for 24 hours only because I had a fan over it throughout the night. You can use any sharp object, just poke the balloon to let the air all out. I got a little bit worried because I can see the color of the balloon on my yarn and that's beginning to disturb me. I'm going to do the rest. Hopefully it's not the same thing. But as you can see, all the balloons with different colors left their colors on my yarn. And that was very disappointing. But I'm just going to work with it anyway. And these are all that I had. So I'm going to keep that aside and then take a bucket that I had at home that I got from Walmart. And this will be the base for my Christmas tree. I'm going to be using a styrofoam ball, cut it into half, and glue it inside the bucket. For the tree, I'm also going to be using this thick wooden dowel that I got from Walmart. I'm going to cut it to size and insert it inside the ball. took it outside and then put heavier rocks inside and then spray painted the whole thing white. For my Christmas tree, I'm also going to be using cardboard. I used an X-Acto knife to carve out the shape in the middle 
and then used a piece of the dowel to give me the exact size. I took them out and I spray painted them white. I'll be using craft foam that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'll be putting it inside this Christmas decor that I also got from the Dollar Tree. I'll make a hole in the middle to make it easy for me to pass this through the dowel. I got another bare one that I'll be wrapping up with a shiny silver Christmas garland. Now I'm going to be wrapping lights all around it. These are skewers that I spray painted white and I'm going to be gluing this to the tree that I just made and that's going to help me attach the yarn balls that I made. I'll be cutting all of the yarn balls into two. I'll be using both the large balls and the small balls. The large balls will be at the bottom and then the smaller balls will be at the top. I am attaching them to the cardboard, the skewers and the lighting that I have on the tree. I know I felt bad about the colors that were on my yarn, but in the end, I kind of like them. This looks bare, but to make it look more pretty, I'm going to be wrapping these lights that I got from Walmart around the tree. I'll be using this Christmas ornament that I got from the Dollar Tree as my topper. This looks nice, simple, refreshing and different. <laughs> 